Encuentra en el agua purificadora. Encuentra en la agua Y que aquí te ofrecemos, Señor, que la luz de tu gloria la ilumine hacia el paraíso. Acepta este poder arrastrado de la gloria y el pecado y acógelos del paraíso. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. Ah. Uh. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Wonder what that means. They made it sound like he was forced into this. So tell me, Yankee, why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important, huh? The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here. And it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> that one cop doing all the talking looks like Robert Nepper, who played Teabag in Prison Break. Like to the point that I'm wondering if he was modeled off of him. I think this is it. Nature calls, huh? I'll be right back. Yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? It's sinking in well for that guy. You smoke? Vaya sitio más tétrico. Hey, ¿hay alguien ahí? You would think he wouldn't want to go investigate by himself. He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. It's not my partner. Oh, watch the car. Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. So much for helping me. This game looks really good. I am using a reshade. It is a very subtle reshade. I didn't want to go crazy on this since this is my first playthrough and it just came out. It's called Natural Clarity. It's mainly just to get rid of that tint. That muddy, washed-out-looking tint that's on all the remake games. 
Wow, this actually looks really good. Guess I don't have anything to say to you. And I can't go back behind the car. I have not watched a single trailer for this game besides the first one that they had when it first came out. Did not play the demo. I wanted to go into this fresh. It's an overgrown cabin. This is going to be a very detailed playthrough. I'm going to take my time with it. I'm going to treat this lovingly. I just got done playing OG Resident Evil 4. So I'm going to kind of be able to reference it a little bit. Oh, I ran right into a barbed wire fence. At least it didn't hurt me. It's all going to be fresh in my mind. How far could he have gone? I hear birds. One difference right off the bat is this looks like it's taking place at night. Ooh, and that's a big difference right there. Yeah. And I wasn't there before. Foul. Alright, so where's this dude at? And these woods look creepy as hell. Crouch stand. Oh, I can crouch. Does this... Now, does that kind of work like a stealth thing? I remember when I first started the original game, I was thinking it would be really cool if it had a stealth feature to it. Dead rabbit. Lots of bags of trash. Barrels, which I can't do any kind of actions right now to destroy them if I can destroy them. They don't really look like the kind of barrels you can destroy. Let's look back here real quick. The original game, there was a path around this house. There isn't one. And this one looks like. Man, this, the way this game looks really nailed the setting. It looks very swampy and wooded. There's nothing here. Hello? Would you like a vacuum cleaner? Guy likes to chop wood. Anyone home? I would have knocked, but... Eh. on the wall. There was a door back there. I'm gonna go check this room out. It doesn't look like there's anybody inside. This place is a mess. Has this guy never heard of cleaning up. Make your bed or something. Says. QE rotates. Zoom in and out. R reset. Oh, hey. It's a message on the back. Crude charm. Judgment is nigh. I guess this is just the thing we leave behind. Tank file. Okay. It's not something we take with us. It's Resident Evil, though. It probably is a good idea to take it. It might be a key for something. 
We'll trust Leon's judgment. Just writing on the walls. It's all in Spanish, which I can't read. I can read very, very basic Spanish. That's about it. in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí. If this was the original game, that whole block in the axe thing probably would have been a quick time event. Thank God it wasn't. Sus. Oh, sus. Officer's badge. National Police Corps. Mario Fernandez Castano, police officer. All right, well, we'll get to him in a second. I want to check out the rest of this place. Lots of bear traps and horns and bones. Is there anything else in here? We have access to our gun now. We can draw. Oh, looks like we interrupted him preparing dinner. Man, that stinks. Yeah, it also looks like there's hair in it. Like, we pretty much broke that guy's neck. Leon still has likes of steel. I don't think we missed anything. Hunter's Lodge key. Key to the Hunter's Lodge basement. Oh, great flashlight. That's never good. A for effort with the decorating. Hope that's not him on that table over there. What is that sound? Looks like they used to be a cow, maybe, or a deer. Is that a radio I'm hearing? Sounds like a pretty bad situation. What the hell's going on? Well, I mean, it could have been worse for you. You were burned last time. That's a close up of him. Escape from the Hunter's Lodge. Ready weapon, shoot. We're about to run into some enemies, aren't we? 
Is there anything here? I don't think I can shoot these barrels. I'm going to try. No. Probably should just try to stab it. We have a knife. What was that? Guess somebody just came in, showed up. Put this hat. Oh my god. That guy already took half my health. Oh, man. Okay, that's, that's different. There's people yelling. I have a first aid spray. I'll look at my gear more closely in a minute when I get out of here, maybe. I wonder if we can get back to that guy in a car. Somebody just walked by a bear. Okay, that one just went in the bedroom. I'm gonna try to get out the front. I can't get out. Okay, is it just this one dude? Can I stealth kill him? I can't tell if he's talking to himself or he's talking to other people. There's an upstairs. That Ashley. Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Great. Gotta go. Talk later. Oh, swell, there's three of you. I'll let myself out. You're not gonna throw that at me? Maybe these guys aren't so bad after all. I kind of liked how during that cutscene they're using code names and then he's like he uses the code name I forget what it was for the daughter and then he immediately says the president's daughter afterward like it just gave away what the code names for and then he referred to Hunnigan as her code name and then she replies Hunnigan here well you know what's why are we using these code names Oh, something was dragged along the bridge here. Maybe it was that other officer. Oh, hey, it's daytime, I just noticed. Early morning. I would shoot this bird, but I have five bullets right now. Kind of hoping I get more at some point. Speaking of, what do we have? We have an SG-09R, custom handgun made for Leon. While keeping the basic design of the MUP, his parts were carefully chosen and machined to improve performance. 
First aid spray, healing spray that will fully restore your health. And a combat knife, weapon suited for close encounters. It's been Leon's go-to since receiving it during his time at the RPD. So then this is the same knife that he got from Marvin. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about killing that bird until I improve my ammo situation a bit. F. Ooh, handgun bullets. Come back, bird. Okay, so I'm guessing we can destroy things that are marked with yellow. I hear something. I hear voices. I just heard somebody say something about Sadler. Gunpowder. So we make ammo in this. Must save it. An attaché case has been added to the customized case menu. Charm has been added to the customized case menu. A deluxe weapon has been added to the storage menu. Okay, I guess I could do all this at the typewriter. I think this is all stuff I got for pre-ordering the game. Okay, so we can change the look of our case, and depending on what case we use, it gives me a different bonus. So I'm using the silver at the moment. It gives increased drop rate for handgun ammo. Gold, increased drop rate for pesetas, and classic, increased drop rate for gunpowder. We'll keep the one we're using. Charms, plus 30% handgun ammo craft bonus frequency. Green herb, plus 15% health recovery for green herbs. I'm not going to put those on yet. I might put them on later. Just because they're DLC, I'm going to wait on them. I'm not going to use the DLC weapons on my first playthrough, which are in here, it looks like. Sentinel-9, fully customized handgun for tackling bioterrorism. Its accuracy and versatility make it a reliable choice. And a skull shaker, a shotgun with a sawed-off stock and barrel. Its compact size allows for excellent maneuverability and handling. It says chapter one, so I guess we're not splitting up the chapters and the parts in this. Speaking of my inventory, gunpowder, crafting material can be used to create a variety of ammo. Handgun ammo. Common handgun cartridges. This ammo is favored for its flat trajectory and moderate recoil. What else do we have here? Key items and treasures. Hunter's Lodge key to key to the Hunter's Lodge's basement. Oh, we can sell this. Thousand pesetas. Once we get to a merchant, we can sell that. That's nice. So it gives those a use besides just opening things. Here's our map. Yeah, I have this thing called Expanded Map, which was also a pre-order DLC thing that I believe is supposed to show you extra treasures on the map that aren't normally in the game. So it basically adds treasure around the map. There's some right there off in the distance. Crafting menu. Oh, okay. Nothing really out of the ordinary with this. It's just showing how you can craft herbs and ammo. I'm guessing we unlock other things later since there's a miss category with nothing in it. So our files section. It's got a request section, which must be like side quests. I did hear this game has side quests in it now. Comms with Hunnigan. Yeah, look at this. The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. Why? What's the point in calling her Baby Eagle? You just gave away who it is. Moving on. All right, we got guys out here. I'm not gonna shoot these birds, I need ammo. Unless they drop ammo. Oh, too late. I'm sure there'll be plenty of birds to shoot later. Ah, oh. is this the dog from the original game that was in the bear trap that you could save? I 
I think we're a little late. Some kind of like a bath or something. Don't see anybody. Yeah, good ammo. I need that. Probably gonna need it in a bit. Cause there's somebody over here. I can't see them. They keep mentioning Lord Sadler, though. Oh, it's us. Say it is 150. Nowhere near as much as we're used to getting from regular drops in the original game. You get like a thousand. Oh, there's a guy right there. I probably can't stealth this dude. I don't know where his buddy's at. Oh, he just spotted me. That means I can kick you. Reload. Oh, oh no. Okay, he's coming at me like that other one did. Doesn't flinch. Yeah, he didn't flinch very much from getting shot. They don't feel pain. Just kind of maybe stagger some after a couple hits. 300 peseta. Yeah, they're a little bit harder to hit. They kind of have like jerky movements almost. They don't come at you head on like they did in the original game. There's something else back here, right? Back in these woods. Doesn't look like it. It's one of these signs. These were in the original. They usually meant traps were ahead or something. Which might mean bear traps. So I need to watch. Is that one right there? Yeah, right there. They're going to be a lot more difficult to see in this game. There's somebody right there. I really want to see if I can stealth kill people. This guy's going to see me. He's facing me. No, he's not facing me, but he's close to it. I'm not going to be able to stealth this guy. He's facing the door. Shoot him in the butt. Come on out. Oh. Stupid axes. Just like the original. Handgun ammo, he's dead. You didn't have a friend, did you? No. I'm already like half out of health. Handgun ammo. Kicking things around, things gonna take some getting used to. I'm gonna keep thinking there's something in the room with me. Flash grenade. Change weapon. Okay. It's nice to have a weapon wheel. It's also nice to be able to move while we reload. Okay, I don't see anybody. Oh. Warm welcome, looks like. Should have used duct tape. Oh no. <laughs> well, 
I knew this was coming. This is what the demo covered. And it's also a very famous scene from this game. Villagers. Suspicious looking chicken. burned him alive right in front of us. That guy seems to be enjoying it. So they switched to cops here in the original. It was the other cop. And this guy got fed to the creature in the lake. Oh, great. Great. 